Magic is using your own energy to affect an outcome. So some people will use prayer. Uh, for witches, it's, it's a craft. So we use different tools, different herbs, roots, stones, even colors to focus our energy to affect the change that we want to happen in our lives. With the Christianity, it was demonized because they wanted to gain control over the masses. Still a lot of misconception, um, thinking that, you know, witchcraft and magic is all about devil worship. Hollywood certainly has not helped the image of witches. Magic could definitely be used for for not so nice things or for evil, but it can also be used for good. It just depends on the intention of the person and the person that's doing it. Good and good and bad aren't necessarily terms only used for witches. It's, it applies to everyone. It doesn't matter what your religion is. Uh, this morning I set up this altar for Hikate, who is a deity that we work with uh, every month for our dark moon ritual. With any ritual, you want to become closer with the, the deity or the energy that you're working with. The aspects of Hikate that I identify the most with are she is the goddess of the underworld. So because I work a lot with my dead, who these are my, my ancestors and friends up here, um, she helps me communicate better with them. So it's a better understanding of, of the underworld and the afterlife. Healing, guidance, validation. Sometimes they just need someone to sit across from them and, and hear them out and listen to them. And, Sometimes they, you know, need a, a psychic reader here to, you know, put some tarot cards down and kind of give them some guidance and clarity to see what's coming up. The sun is bringing a lot of light and truth and knowledge. The future holds healing and success. Obstacles are behind you, perhaps a problem, but if you turn towards those around you who, who can help and support.